everyone, welcome back for more Exosiers content. Today's video, we're going to discuss the top Exosiers tips for 2021. So you've heard it, it's already 2021 and it's the first day of the year. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, if you've noticed that my display has changed, so for comments and suggestions, please write them down below. And when we're talking about um, tips for the game, for beginners especially, um this is or this would make them or help them catch up with players who started way before um but way before today especially during the launch global launch korea launch and this would give them more efficiency in playing the game so to start off we'll have zest efficiency first so zest efficiency is tied to your currently call a uh, currency called zest so here it is so this is actually uh, being used mostly in summoning or recruiting for heroes so here you go for summoning um, of heroes and for acquiring heroes or fate cores or faded heroes or all kinds of heroes you'll need this so period um, my advice to you so th so that you won't be able to you won't be able to be delayed in this one is try to prioritize using this number one ask the community that you are in for Hexo exos heroes for advice on what to build or what to prioritize once you've summoned your first couple of heroes um, also try to prioritize these gold fate course if you want to summon but not the black fate course at the meantime because you're starting out the game try to more or less save your zest for the best uh fate course available they're usually gold or sometimes they're blue but uh, try to focus more on 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 gold for the meantime for the other components it would really depend on really on what or which characters would you want to to carry the game again ask for advice before you build your team ask people ask people in your group your air squadron um because um when you start the game zest would be pretty much very available very available a lot of sources but as you progress in the game it it's its availability actually goes down so I would suggest also that you don't pull on this one the string of creation re because this is actually a frustration for beginners and you would really consume your zest here um so much that you'll be you know most players try uh, are, are not are no longer um are no longer interested in playing the game so this one i would put a pause on first no string of creation re for the meantime so again try to get some tips from the group that you are in and or if you don't have a group try to join a group for this one the next would be um team building flexibility since since you guys will be starting today um you pretty much have enough flexibility uh in order to build your team because way back when i joined the game um, during global launch at around end of May or beginning of June um, the the meta was not yet really formed and right now once you join the game there are there is a lot of heroes that you can select the meta is also is already established kinda uh, with a little bit of movement and now you it, it would be easy for you to prioritize which heroes would you want to pick and build on so that is your advantage now as beginners team building flexibility the next would be unlocking pve pve content rather than pvp so for pve content i'm actually referring to your daily quest your campaign here and especially your challenges especially here during growth because most of the, the materials that you'll be needing will be here in growth. It's named growth for a specific reason. Because you need to be able to progress as far as possible 
So here we are at a sample of one of the challenges in growth. So for every stage, um, every requirement is actually, you know, it, it actually increases up to the last stage. So the, the, the requirement would be heroes and how strong they are and the war and the rewards actually increase from simple equipment up to um, you already have star of faith here and you have this is your star crystal so these these um these what do you call this these um materials you will be using in leveling up improving your characters or heroes you will be equipping them you will be um leveling them with materials blessing enhancements and whatever things you do with your heroes so it's important that you unlock challenges first okay also my next tip would be focusing on one signature force so for signature force if you want to see signature force you can actually take a look at signature force here so try to focus on developing one signature force first because it would be you know it would be it would be rather very hard for you to to get a lot of general shards or or summon heroes or general heroes uh more than more than one um and also try to check your existing roster on which faction that you are you you currently have and focus on the generals that you should get for that faction for example for greenland um you will need battery to enhance greenland so you have to have um duplicate duplicates of battery for you to get enhancements going up to level four as of now so you will have you would want to reach this one if you have if you have mostly greenland heroes you can check out the green greenland heroes in their sorting um when once you, you you sort your heroes according to nation so you would want to reach this and you would want to reach copies i uh, sorry you would want to get copies of generals for you to level up in signature force okay so the next one would be farming for golden clocks this actually is applicable to everyone not just beginners but also for advanced players because your golden clocks will be used in recruitment of your generals okay generals in particular and and uh, and other heroes i'm saying generals because before you recruit for your nation recruit there's this this thing called your mileage so for your mileage for 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 every 150 mileage you get to get a special fated hero selection ticket so you can select a general from this ticket provided that you accumulate uh, 150 tickets before you pull for at least one or before you pull for everything because um the mileage actually only is good for 30 days once once um the 30 30 days is up the mileage is going to reset so try to make sure that you have first 150 before you pull to ensure that you can get at least one copy of a general for nation recruit also i'll put a link up there for my farming for golden clock so, so that you would have more details on how to farm for golden clocks also our my next tip would be farming for generals early um because you will be starting today it's it's very important that you farm as soon as possible so nation recruit tickets would be one the next would be your in the market for heroin store so if you can see here you can actually get shards of generals so that you can put in your signature force and you actually can farm them you know slowly but surely also you also have it here 
uh, under the currency for beads of greed so you can actually get shards as well and also you can get general um, heroes and your door to creation when you fuse or when you uh, what do you call this once you re-recruit a hero fated heroes you can actually put here one and two and once you com combine and convert there's actually a chance that you'll be recruiting generals here so let's skip this and see what we've got so not a general it's emma but you can do this as long as you have enough faded or extra faded once you've leveled up your faded uh heroes already the uh, the last one would be in your eternal bond so this actually is just a log in log in reward uh for 30 days so currently i have a bond with dorka so if you can see my progress once i've finished the 29 consecutive days or 28 uh, tw sorry the 30 at 30 consecutive days um dorka will be given to me as a reward so it's important that you log in for 30 days then once this is done another set of heroes for eternal bond will appear so also try to check out my video on how to farm journals I'll, I'll put it up there for you to check out next would be um not every beginner will have will have good you know good heroes to use um you'll have to be contented with some of the heroes that you get but it's also important that you check out some hidden gems and uh, my your question might be where to find this hidden gems of heroes check out my video as well i'll put it on the link up up there so that you could check out my hidden gems so we i have two videos for that one part one and part two um my next tip for you guys would be the daily grind um it's always important that you establish yourself a routine for the daily grind uh, making sure that you've covered everything that you have uh, acquired everything that you have finished everything especially when you're here already in the world so you have to check your campaign your daily quests your challenges uh even even the palace even the airship you have to establish a routine on how to go about in finishing all the tasks that you have per day and also don't miss a day um just 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 don't miss a day because you're trying to catch up on the other players that have played the game already don't miss a day play every day get the login rewards do the eternal bond because once you miss a couple of days you miss on additional materials or things that you will have to you know you, that you're grinding every day every day is actually a chance for you to improve on your roster improving your heroes improving your gear um and everything so my suggestion is play daily do not miss a day and also one other tip is the game is purely on rng so it's to put it simply it's purely luck even if when you summon for heroes it's actually mostly luck so you have to you have to make sure that you you know you, you don't expect a lot when it comes to summoning um especially and also in combat it's also rng so luck plays a big part in this game one more thing to import to to remember which is very important is to choose your squadron well because your squadron will actually help you in your progress as well they will help you in acquiring zest which is a big part um they will uh your attendance here will give you rewards for your premium this will give you golden clocks and for your normal donation this will give you levy stones so um choose a group that is active choose an choose an air, air squadron with which communicates um on a on a daily basis constantly and helps each other because um 
currently my air squadron i've been here since probably i started the game and i love the the synergy that we have in terms of um completing raid completing battle because part of the part of your participation for air squadron is your raid and, and your air squadron battle and also they have this thing called your air squadron hideout in which uh, you'll be able to share things with your fellow squadron members just to remind you guys about the game the game is about being patient patience um, getting towards your ultimate goal because this is not a game that you can finish in one day or even one week or even you know even in a month Probably if you spend a lot of, you know, a lot of zest, you could you could hasten your progress. But for those who are free to play, the game is played because of you being patient. Being patient of your RNG, your luck, your progress, acquiring heroes. Eventually, you'll be able to get them all as long as you have the patience and as long as you um, like to grind the game uh on on a daily basis as a beginner the content is pretty much so varied that you would be very busy in playing this game and also my last point is enjoy playing this game because some of the beginners that i've seen usually would like to you know re-roll re-roll your first hero it's actually not a problem but my point is this game will eventually give you uh, all of the years that you need. So I actually made a made a uh, made a mistake in summoning for the wrong hero when I started, but I ended up you know getting the heroes that I wanted eventually, and I even corrected my wrong start in this game. So for all the beginners out there who are starting Exos heroes, this these are my you know my tips for you if you want to ask me for more questions you might want to put that in the comment section or try to check out the description i have there a facebook group for chat in which you can share or ask tips from all of the members and also from me anyway guys again happy new year i hope this video has helped you and also encouraged you to play exos heroes today or starting today um, hope 2021 will be a better year for us. This is the Warden. You all stay safe and I'm out.